Hi guys, I wanted to show you how to make elderberry syrup because it's so easy. Elderberry is jam-packed with vitamin C. It helps to reduce hydration and the symptoms of a cold because it's packed full of antioxidants, it's antiviral, anti-inflammatory, but we're going to make, um, I'm going to show you how to do this on the stove, it's so easy with just a few ingredients, but we're going to like supercharge it. So the first thing is we have four cups of water. We're going to turn this up. So we have four cups of water. And then we have our one cup of elderberry. I'm just going to pour that in there. The elderberry that I have is, um, I got this on Amazon. Boil. Okay, so now it's come to a boil and you just stir occasionally until it comes to a boil and then we're going to add in some ingredients that are going to really boost it up. So we have, the first thing we're going to add is cinnamon. You can use cinnamon sticks or regular just ground cinnamon um, because it is antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral, and anti-inflammatory. So just sprinkle a little bit of that. Tablespoon. You can hear my kids in the background playing. We're gonna add some clove, and we're gonna keep stirring this. Um, clove is also antiseptic. It helps with cough and cold, with upset stomach. So we're gonna put some clove in, make it smell really good. And the last thing we're gonna add is a little bit of ground ginger. You can use um, ground or just a slice. That in there. Um, ginger also helps to enhance immunity. And all of these ingredients are actually good for blood sugar levels, cholesterol, and um, immunity support. So this has just come to a boil, and now we're going to turn it down to low, and we're going to let it simmer here for a couple hours until the liquid is reduced by about half. And we'll come back and I'll show you what the next step is. I have a strainer, a glass bowl, a strainer, and then I have some, um, what is this called, cheesecloth. So I'm just going to gently pour this into the cheesecloth, slowly, and we'll let that drain down a little bit. And there we have, we're just going to try to see if we can squeeze any last goodness out of this. And the last step we're going to do is add one cup of honey. Um, I try to get local honey because the local honey, the bees have gone through all of the stress, I guess you could say that you are exposed to. So that's why it helps with allergies and things that are um, common to your area. Well, let's see if I can do this without making a mess. Oh boy. Oh, oh not too bad, okay. There we go. 
and then I'm just going to store this in the refrigerator. It'll be good for um, three months from the day that you make it. Okay, so let's taste. I like to use a little shot glass. I don't even really measure, just kind of fill it up like that. 